what's the latest, sorry, um, on, on the case with Roman Kreutzinger? Because I believe the UCI have a certain amount of time to appeal and I think that might be in the next day or two or even today. Um, well, uh, we are, uh, the, this, the matter is in the hands of the lawyers and taking legal advice on that. I fully expect that we will be appealing the case and uh, that it will be within the time limits uh, um, set. So that indeed will then go, go to CAS? Uh, we, uh, the appeal would go to CAS, yeah. Yeah, um, I expect an announcement to be made on that in the next, uh, uh, imminently, let's put it that way. And if it does go to cast, I mean, how confident are you that the, the, the biological passport and how important is, is it that the biological passport doesn't, doesn't lose this case? Well, the biological passport is a wonderful tool. Um, the only people who seem to challenge it are people who've fallen foul of it. And uh, I've seen some very foolish statements uh, recently about the biological passport. It's been a great way of, uh, of helping our sport uh, clean up uh, um, the problems of doping. It's not uh, uh, solved every problem, and I'm sure uh, it never will, but it's been a wonderful tool. It's uh, effectively lowered the radar, tightened the net, whatever analogy you want to use. Um, and it's something that we are very, very pleased about. A number of other sports want to introduce it as well. Uh, WADA are 100% behind it as well. And, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm confident that, uh, that it's, uh, uh, it's a tool that will continue to be extremely useful for us. You said that um, there's been some foolish comments made about the biological passport. Can you point to, to one in particular? Well, I think the things that Jonathan Tune and Lot was saying in his uh, recent interview are, are way out of line, frankly. I think uh, Mr. Tune and Lot uh, needs to uh, consider his situation very carefully. Uh, he is. Uh, uh, he needs to look at the terms and conditions of his sanction. Uh, I see that he's talking about coaching again. Well, I'm afraid he's banned from coaching or involvement in any uh, event in any capacity that has anything to do with the UCI or any national federation affiliated to the UCI. So uh, for, to hear Jonathan saying um, uh, things like uh, like the, the UK anti-doping uh, hearing was a Mickey Mouse court, I think that's very foolish and, uh, and not a wise thing to have said. Will you be, can you take that any further with, with, with John, Jonathan Tiernan Locke? Well, uh, I'm uh, giving him a message now which uh, uh, I think is uh, probably quite clear um, that uh, he really um, is putting himself in, uh, uh, in a deeper and deeper hole and he will be wise to uh, um, accept his uh, sanction and, uh, uh, and if he wants to return in two years' time, um, then let's see what happens.